Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS, is a connective tissue disease that affects about one in 5,000 people. It is the most common group of disorders in the family of hereditable disorders of connective tissues. Multiple symptoms are present in EDS since it is a disease of connective tissue which is found in virtually every organ system. Excessive joint mobility is the hallmark of the disease. The name of the syndrome comes from the names of a Danish dermatologist, Edward Ehlers, and a French dermatologist, Henri Danlos, who described it in first decade of 20th century. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is caused due to a mutation in one of more than a dozen different genes. The affected gene determines a specific type of the syndrome. Some forms of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome relate to problems with collagen production and composition, though the particular issue varies. Body's many connective tissues, including cartilage, tendons, fat and bones, may falter and fail when collagen and its enzymes are disrupted. The pathological changes mainly involve joints, skin, and the walls of the blood vessels. In total, there are 13 different types of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, the most common of which are classical EDS and hypermobility EDS. For all the types of the syndrome, changes in the skin and joints are almost same in nature, differing only in their severities. Vascular EDS is most serious type due to high risk of life-threatening complications. However, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is more than just the issue of hypermobility. Unfortunately, the possibility of EDS is generally acknowledged in a patient only after joint hypermobility is recognized. Only a handful of clinicians have the awareness or understanding of the multi-system nature of EDS. Often, multiple physicians become involved in the care process, each managing only the separate issue for which they are consulted, thus leaving many dots disconnected. EDS can produce problems of the immune system, a range of gut disorders, chronic pain and fatigue, problems of the heart and blood vessels, obstetric issues, and chronic headache. The syndrome makes the person lose the balance while performing simple activities, such as walking down an even paved path or gripping a moving ball. All forms of the syndrome lead to instability in the joints, which can bend past the typical ranges of motion. While the looser tissue allows greater flexibility, it also adds to the clumsiness, making people vulnerable to dislocating or spraining joints. Widespread and bone-deep aching pain is a core concern for almost every patient. In some forms, abnormal collagen causes cigarette paper scarring because the skin may appear extremely thin and wrinkled like tissue paper. There can be issues of abnormal bruising and bleeding, tissue fragility, hollow organ rupture, and frequent joint dislocations. The condition is mild in some people, causing only slight clumsiness and looseness of joints, while in others, Blood vessels of vital organs can tear, leading to torrential internal bleeding, which can be fatal. Diagnosis is based on the characteristic signs and symptoms, and quite often, a detailed family history. Extremely hypermobile joints, stretchy skin, radiographic and histological findings, and a family history of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome are often sufficient to frame a diagnosis. Genetic tests can confirm the diagnosis in 12 more rare forms of EDS, but there is not such test for hypermobility EDS. Skin biopsy with electron microscopy can play a role in the decision process of whether and when to perform genetic testing. Correct diagnosis is imperative to allow targeted management, prenatal diagnosis, and family screening. There is no solution for Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. The management focuses heavily on preventing serious complications and relieving the signs and symptoms. Wearing a medical bracelet can help in case of a life-threatening emergency, such as arterial rupture. Low-resistance exercises are advised to help increase muscle tone and stabilize loose joints. Physical therapy can be very helpful in the management of long-term health. Patients are instructed to avoid excessive or repetitive activities that produce undue strain or stress on their hypermobile joints. In the event of skin injuries, extreme care must be taken with a suture closure. Alternatives to sutures, such as wound glues and adhesive strips, should be considered. Non-invasive visualization of the blood vessels may be indicated in the patients who are at substantial risk of internal bleeding. Desmopressin may help to normalize bleeding time for these patients, but further studies are needed to establish the efficacy and safety profile of this medication in these patients. Long-term pain in the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes appears early and may be severe, necessitating high-dose NSAIDs and opioid therapy. Orthopedic surgery may be indicated to correct fractures and dislocated joints. 
Apart from the pain control, management of fatigue, clumsiness, dystonia, and impaired proprioception are essential. Patients with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome are famously intolerant of a wide range of medications, so caution must be practiced. Clinical features are shared between many subtypes, making accurate diagnosis a challenging ordeal. The development of novel sequencing platforms in the future will further enhance the molecular genetic testing process, but the clinician needs to be aware of the changeable presentations of this syndrome to consider it as a potential cause. In the future, genome-targeted treatments can be developed to provide the option of gene editing in these patients, ensuring complete clinical cure. For more information about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and to find a list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.